Brownies are one of the most decadent things you could eat. I love them because they're fudgy in the center and crunchy on the outside. And what I love about my brownie mixture is that you can add different things to it. So today I'm gonna be adding some cream cheese, coffee and chopped almonds. So first of all, you wanna line a dish, a brownie dish just like this, so a square shape. And I'm lining it just to make sure that the brownie comes out really easily once it's cooked. Okay, so over here, I've just been melting some chocolate. So 300 grams of dark chocolate. If you like, you could use some milk chocolate for this recipe. Also in there is 150 grams of butter. So that's been melting together just on a pot of simmering water. So now we can add our cream cheese. The cream cheese is softened, so I've brought it out of the fridge about half an hour ago. If it's really cold, we're going to get lumps in our mixture. So while this mixture is still warm, we'll add our cream cheese there. And I'm going to add three tablespoons of instant coffee. So just those granules straight in there. We just want to incorporate these ingredients so it combines nicely and just crush up the cream cheese there and mix it together. And then we're just going to leave it to the side now while we get on to our dry ingredients. For our dry ingredients, 80 grams of cocoa powder and we want to sift that into the bowl. So now we can add some sweetness. So 360 grams of caster sugar and some self-raising flour, so three quarters of a cup that I'll measure out accurately. Self-raising flour has the baking powder already in it, so that's going to be the leavening agent. We don't need to add extra. And now we'll give that a really good mix. I'll add just a pinch of salt here. And we'll make a well in the centre and we'll crack four eggs, four whole eggs for this recipe. And I'll put them straight into a bowl first. One. And our last egg straight in there. So in the center, I'm just going to break them up and we'll start to incorporate the eggs first. And then I'm going to add the rest of the wet ingredients over here and then just slowly mix it in until it's incorporated nicely. Right, this mix is fantastic. It's glossy, it smells delicious. And I want some dark chocolate baking chips in there too, just to make it extra decadent. And for the crunch, some almonds. So just some blanched almonds here. We want a good handful there, and we're just going to roughly chop them. Make sure that there is a little bit of texture there. So just run the knife through the nuts just a few times. Perfect. They can go into our mix and then we'll just fold them in to make sure that they're evenly distributed. So this is going to bake for about 30 minutes at 180 degrees and then I'm going to allow it to cool before we take it out of the tin. freshly baked brownies. It's so good. And I've allowed that to rest for about 20 minutes so it cools down slightly or else it'll be too gooey in the centre. And we're just going to take it out of the tin. See how easy it is with a bit of baking paper. And I'll just slide it off that paper. And now you can cut it into the classic brownie shape which is just into squares. Oh, I can feel that. It's a really heavy base and then have a look at that. See how it's still a little bit fudgy? That's what you're looking for in the ultimate brownie. So I'm just going to cut a few wedges and let's have a look at the center. Oh, how good is that? That is so delicious. The little speckles of the almonds there and the smell of coffee. I love this. All we need now is maybe a latte on the side or a little short black. I like the edge because I like that crunchy side just there. They are the most delicious brownies that you'll ever make. Mm, perfect. <laughs>